Welcome to the Skywalker Trampolines Round Trampoline Mini Bouncer Assembly Video. This video will help you assemble any enclosed mini bouncer, regardless of size or color. Before you begin, use the manual to take an inventory of all parts. Assemble the bouncer where it'll be used, because many times the bouncer won't fit through the doorway when assembled. Arrange all frame sections in a circle, making sure the larger ends of the tubes are facing down. Connect each frame section by inserting the small end of one section into the larger end of another frame section. Next, insert one leg into one of the small tubes, then tighten with a self-tapping screw using the provided screwdriver. If available, it might be helpful to use a Phillips screwdriver or a cordless drill to tighten the screws. Repeat this step until all legs have been attached to the frame. Place the mat with the attached enclosure net inside the frame. Align the mat so that the opening of the enclosure net is centered between two legs. Now, find a loop on the mat that's centered between two legs. Using one elastic with ball, slip the elastic loop of the band through the loop on the mat. Then, take the elastic loop and pull it over the metal bar frame and loop it over the ball to secure in place. Repeat this step with another elastic directly across from the elastic you just secured. Continue this process until there's an elastic in the center of each pair of legs. Now, place elastics to the left of each elastic you already placed. Continue this pattern in a clockwise direction until all the elastics have been secured. At this point, the frame may not lay flat on the ground. However, the frame will straighten out with further assembly. Lay the frame pad with lower enclosure on the frame. Make sure the seam of the lower net is on the opposite side of the enclosure door. Insert the top of the legs into the holes in the pad. Fasten the net to the bottom of the legs with self-tapping screws. Insert the bottom of a curved tube into one of the legs. The tube should curve inwards towards the mat and then lean out towards the top. Repeat this step to insert the remaining curved tubes. Now place the pole caps on top of the curved tubes, making sure they're pushed all the way down. Unfold the enclosure net attached to the mat and locate the sleeves sewn on the inside of the net. Slide a piece of foam into one of the sleeves inside the net. Repeat this step until all foam pieces have been placed inside the sleeves. Locate a rail and insert it into the foam inside the sleeve. Make sure the rail is curved inwards. Repeat this step until all of the rail sections have been inserted into the foam and sleeves. Make sure the ends are alternating so one rail will fit inside the other. Push the ends of the rails out of the net holes to the outside of the net. Insert the ends of the rails into the short horizontal tube located on the curved tube. You might want to use two people for this step. Place the straps that are at the top of the enclosure net over the pole caps. Insert self-tapping screws into the holes at the bottom of the curved poles. Tighten to secure the poles in place. Congratulations on completing the assembly of your Skywalker Trampolines Mini Bouncer. For more information, visit our website at www.skywalkertrampolines.com or visit us on social media. Welcome to the Skywalker Trampolines Round Trampoline Mini Bouncer Assembly Video. This video will help you assemble any enclosed mini bouncer, regardless of size or color. Before you begin, use the manual to take an inventory of all parts. Assemble the bouncer where it'll be used, because many times the bouncer won't...